Namaste friends, welcome to Learn with Jay and Powered by Magic Noodles. We have seen increases, uh, increasing stitch at the end and we have seen increasing at one particular spot. Now today we are going to see multiple increases at the ends. So this is useful when you work your blouses and sweaters and dresses, tops etc. So to increase at the end of a sorry increasing at the beginning of a row what you have to do is in the previous row you need to increase with so many number of stitches here so this is the previous row and in the next row we need the increase so what we do is we chain that many stitches required as many stitches required so many chains we need to make suppose i need four five increases then this, I have increased by 5 chains so I need 5 stitches at this end and I need 5 stitches at the end of the row so what I am going to do is now turn your work after placing the making the chains you turn your work and if you are going to increase in the double crochet you can have so many number of turning chains for HTC so many number of turning chains now I am going to show you the increase in SC I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I need 5 increases. So I need to make 6 chains for the single crochet. And then start making a single crochet. The second chain from the hook. So 1. Three, four, and five. So the next, I have made five stitches increase at the beginning of the row here. That is, if you need to increase stitches in the beginning of the row, the previous row, end of the previous row, you need to make so many chains and make the stitches and get back to the original work. And now I'm going to place one stitch across. So I shall place one stitch on each of them. And when I come to the end of this row, I will meet you there and I will show you how to increase at the end of the row. I have placed my last stitch on the la uh, here. Now I need to have 5 more stitches made here. There are 2 methods. One is to make chains with the same color yarn and attach it here and work over them. The next one is continue working here. Like, why, like we do the foundation single crochet, we need to make the same way. Yarn over, insert in the stitch, pick up the loop, pull out, pull through 1. You have made the bottom increase here sorry we not yarn over because it's a single crochet insert pick up the yarn pull through and yarn over pull through one so you have made the base here you have made one increase now yarn over pull through two this will become the side chain and this is the top chain so one single crochet increased again insert under both the loops of the bottom it will hide little behind so here Pick up the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, and yarn over, pull through two. Again, two stitches we have increased. This is the third stitch. See the bottom, you have this V. You need to insert your hook under this V. You can hold it, pinch, and hold it like this, and pick up the yarn, pull through. Now you have two loops on the hook. You need to create a bottom V. So that is bottom chain. So we need to pull up the loop through one first. So this bottom is created. Now side and the top are made together by just picking up the yarn and pulling through both of them. So this is the side one and this is the top one. So one, two, three, four stitches done. Three stitches done here. One, two, three stitches done here. Again insert under this. Purposely I am using a bigger hook so that the stitches are seen well. And 
and one more the last one five we need so five chainless foundation uh, single crochet we are doing here at the end this is very helpful when you work your fillet crochet when you work your increases in the netted pattern and whichever whichever work you're going to do this sort of increases are going to be of great help and they will give you a neat finish so this row has been increased on both the ends by five stitches thank you friends for watching this video have a great day i shall be back with yet another tip in the next video bye for now